This tutorial will show you how to make a Microsoft Azure architecture diagram, which is a diagram that visualizes how an organization plans to use or uses Microsoft's computing services. Making a cloud architecture diagram like this one is great for a few reasons. It can help you plan for and implement changes to the services you're using, or it can give you a way to explain the technical details of your Azure implementation to the non-technical stakeholders within your organization. This example was made with Gliffy, which is an easy to use app available in Confluence, Jira, and online. You can learn more about Gliffy through the info linked in the upper right, or you can check out links to start a free trial via any of our apps in this video description. So I'm gonna start making a new diagram just to show you how easy this is. To do that, I'm gonna go to File, New, And from here, I'm gonna select Network Diagram. This preloads some of the shapes I might wanna use for my diagram in the left side panel here, but it doesn't include any shapes that are specific to Microsoft services. So to load those shapes specifically, I will click on More Shapes, and then here I'll select Microsoft Azure icons, and you can see they start to load in already. Now, I'm going to be making a diagram based on a reference architecture for deploying Azure machine learning, including both a cloud and on-premises deployment. Before I start dragging and dropping all the icons for the services that I'll be using, I like to lay out some structure for my architecture diagram first. So in this case, I'm going to have some things that are happening on-premises. and some things that are happening in the cloud. Now I'll select both of these. I want the text to go above them and let's make it bold just to make it pop a little bit more. And then let's style these. I personally don't like a stroke and we'll do light yellow. So you can see how easy it is for me to just drag out those shapes, edit them, add some text, give them a little styling. Now, before I start dragging and dropping all these services, I also want to make sure I'm going to keep my diagram nice and neat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this Layers panel and add a layer. I'm going to double click to rename this layer Base, and then I'll name this one Services. And then I can go in here and lock this layer so that now I can't accidentally select and move around my base anymore. Now I can go ahead and add the services that I need to this diagram. One thing I know I'm going to be using is the Azure Machine Learning Service, and I can find that really easily by searching up here. There's the icon I'm looking for. I can drag and drop it and label it. I'm gonna to continue to search for the services that I need up here and I will jump back to you when I've got everything added. So I've drawn in all the services that I want to capture in this diagram, 
and given each one a pretty clear label as well. So then the other thing you need to do is use our connector tool to show how these things interact with each other. That's right here in the toolbar. And I can hover over a shape until I see that green dot appear, then drag to create a line. I can edit the line properties to add directional arrows. So in this example, I've got data flowing in two directions. And then I can edit any of the text I need to to make it a little bit cleaner. That looks great. And so I'm going to go ahead and finish drawing out these arrows through here. I can edit this line to make sure it doesn't overlap with anything. Awesome, so I just drew in all those connections. At a glance, I kind of want to differentiate these two colors a little bit more, so I'm going to jump back in here, make sure the layer is unlocked, and change this color. So that is super fast how you can make an architecture diagram with Gliffy. Now, this is looking pretty polished, and the last step for me would be to share this diagram with a teammate so that I can get feedback and make sure I didn't miss anything or accidentally point an arrow in the wrong direction, for example. Then you can go ahead and add diagrams like this to your documentation. With Gliffy, it's easy to automatically add updated links in tools like Slack or Trello so that as you make updates, your teammates will always see the latest and greatest. To do that, you just need to hit this share button up here. If you haven't yet, be sure to sign up for a free trial of Gliffy Online via the link in this video description or check out our diagramming apps for Confluence and Jira. You'll have architecture diagramming and anything else figured out before you know it. Happy diagramming!